Okay, hey there everybody and today I'm going to be teaching you how to export your game to Android. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick way to do that. So, um, as you can see here, I have a player scene and a game scene. And in my player scene, there are these touch screen buttons that I have. If you don't know how to do that, you can just um, go on to my video, link in the description. Okay, on how to make touch screen buttons. Now, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly um, set some things here, which are, you have to go to your editor settings first, and scroll down till you see export, and you click Android. So, when you click this, you'll see these options. I'm using Godot 3.1.2 um, 3 for this tutorial, because I feel this is the best for exporting Android, but I don't know, maybe it's best for the other, uh, best for you. Why I like this one especially. So um, the ADB here, I'm just going to. You have to have an ADB, a jar signer, and a debug key store. So I'm going to show you how to generate the debug key store. Then, as for this ADB and jar signer, we just have to download those files. So over here, we go to the downloads and um, mine. Um, you can actually have. If you already have Android Studio, it will be among your SDK tools, this platform tool here. It's going to be among your SDK, so you just have to go to this path. Um, okay, so you can just go on to this path, which is the CD users and the home path, which is, um, which is basically your username of your laptop and the app data local Android SDK platform tool. That's only if you have the Android SDK. Okay. I can save this. Um, but I downloaded the platform tool separately, which has the ADB in it. So I'm just gonna use this instead if I don't have the Android SDK rather than downloading it. Okay. Um, so over here, I'm gonna set the ADB to that, which is here in my platform tools and ADB.exe. So another thing you have to have is the Java SDK. Okay. So in the Java SDK, um, I have downloaded it and installed it um, here over in program files. Um, sorry, not JetBrain. My Java, and here you see JDK, and we're gonna see bin. So in the bin here, there will be a jar signer. Okay. So and this and this um, Java JDK is also going to be used to get your debug key store so you really need this java okay so here is the jar signer and i'm just going to copy this path okay because we're going to be using it later so i'm going to set the jar signer now in the bin and here you see jar signer i'm going to set that so now as for the debug key store sorry as for the debug key store we have to actually generate this so I already have the debug key store so it's not it's gonna show you something different it's gonna show me something different so actually I have a key tool generator here and okay I'm just gonna put this in quotes because this is necessary okay so this is where I am um, you have to type all these in um to create the debug key stuff so just scroll um i'm just gonna scroll fast so that you can pause the video and copy all this down so okay by now i think it should be done and oh and after you copy this down well i'm gonna put this in the link in the description so you can just easily copy that and put there so now next thing we want to do is we want to open our command prompt so I'm just going to click Windows R and go to CMD and just type in CMD there and when you open that you see your command prompt so a way to go um, about this is that path that we copied just now we're going to be putting it here so what I'm going to do is just to erase this this um, username and the uh, users I'm just going to type CD and two dots after it so that's gonna rewrite that and do that again. Okay, so I'm kind of done. 
so now to add to this I'm just gonna type CD again and I'm gonna paste that path that we copy so note that it has to be the path to your JDK bin okay and I'm gonna erase that C in front because we already have C here and program files yeah everything is okay I'm gonna hit enter and it opens that up for us so over here I'm gonna copy this entire text and I'm gonna paste it here okay so I pasted that and everything is okay so I'm just gonna hit enter and just wait for that wait for this and note that any path you put in here is going to um is going that's where the the bucky store is going to be saved so from what i'm seeing it saved it because um because i don't have a key store in this particular part so you can have multiple key stores and stuff like that so it has generated this key store for me and as you can see here we have a debug key store file here so i'm that's what i'm going to be using for this so you go over to the debug key store i'm just going to set that path for it so mine is in my desktop and here it is the debug key store okay that should be all and another thing you have to do is over here in the exports okay so what we want to do is when you go to your exports and click add we're gonna add an android so here is a package name is missing well if you see anything like um, export templates install and stuff like that just go ahead and install the export templates because you need that okay another thing we want to do is we're going to just set the package name so that that error can go away so here um here you may see unique name i'm just going to put a unique name like com the um test okay in my game name i'm going to name this um tests um exports yeah and that should do it and um, this is actually the first procedure this is the first way because there are two ways and this is the first way to export your template so to export your game sorry so i'm going to save this um export file um i'm going to name it test the export and the apk sorry and i'm going to save it in my desktop wow my desktop is really full <laughs> so here in the test apk i'm going to save this and this is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video till it's done okay so that's done well um now what we're going to be doing is we are just going to connect our phone our android device whatever you're going to use to your laptop okay and here um, go to your phone and I'm just gonna switch to my phone now and I'm going to enable we're gonna go to the settings when you scroll down to I think accessibility I think in most Android phones you'll see developer um, sorry, coming. in some systems you might see developer options well in some phones they might be um, about tablet so when you uh, sorry about system or about sorry about phone so when you go to the about phone you go to your system information and when you click that you see your number and just keep tapping that um until you see no need development mode has already been enabled okay and if you see developer options go to usb debugging and you just um enable that so that you can carry out these this so now i've already done all that that's why you can see this android icon on my right here so i'm gonna click that so when you click it you'll see all the android systems connected to your laptop at that point in time so here i'm just gonna 
click on this and it's going to export it and I'll run it on my Android system automatically. So this is like the fastest way you can do it to test your game on Android. So I'm just gonna show you. Um just gonna pause the video till it's done. Okay, here I am um videoing my Android device and if you notice I won't touch anything until the game loads from my laptop okay as you can see it opened by itself and here we can just tap this screen buttons and it works pretty nicely so that's how to export the game to android and if you want to see the other way I'm just gonna go back to my laptop now and the other way um, is just to get this desktop um, this test file and just send it to the device where you want it to be and you go over there and go to the file manager find it and you install it manually so that's the way to do this um, if you have any questions please can you leave it down in the comment section below and just um, Thank you and goodbye. And before you forget, please don't forget to smash that like button and click subscribe. Um, I cherish all my subscribers. Mm, thank you. If you have any contributions, if you want me to make any tutorials on any type of video, you can just leave it down in the comment section and I'll pick it up from there. Thanks and goodbye.